All right, howdy. Uh, this is gonna be how to properly adjust your hot end for the Minky box. So here we've got the hot end. Uh, we've got the screws on it, but it's very loose right now. Uh, you can see as far as, so when you drive it back and forth, especially on the longer the Y axis, You'll actually see that it tends to uh, allow for the axes to wiggle a little bit more. So what we're going to do, first step in tuning up your hot end is to tighten these screws, these top screws down as far as you can. So do it down until it's definitely, like, there's nowhere else for it to go. Um, do be careful you're tightening it into plastic, but at the same time, uh, it is pretty deep as far as there's a pretty good number of threads on it and everything. So it can take a, a reasonable amount of force. So as soon as you feel it really kind of tapping out. So this is a fully, and you might want to even kind of just pinch it on both sides just to make sure that it's fully bedded in. Um, so you can see there's still a little bit of play in it. That's by design. So if you happen to use it this way, this is what is going to happen. It's going to drag a lot. So any movements, you're going to get a lot of angling back and forth. What you actually want at this point, so usually the rule of thumb that we do is right now that board, the, the circuit board that's on top, it, it's unable to move. So if you back the screws off, just enough, where the board is able to wiggle. So you can see now, basically if I twist it by the connector, it's able to shift back and forth very freely. That's actually what you want. Now, the other thing you might want to do is kind of wiggle the top platform a little bit to make sure that it's bedded in. And you can see it's it's actually, there's some play in it, but when you move it using the drive, it just translates. So that's what you want. Uh, you can Play with it a little bit as far as making it a little bit tighter, a little bit looser than what I just showed you. But in general, that's pretty close to where most of the hot ends work very well, and you'll get very tight, uh, like tight following of the shape that you're trying to draw. So that's how you tune your hot end for the Makey Box. And we'll be doing some other tutorials that you can find for doing the hotbed, the hot, the in tips, uh, the drive blocks, and also how to tune the manual pots on the printer board. All right, catch you all later. Bye.